than today than my first set with the empty bar in here. Uh, but for me at this point, I'm treating the safety bar squat as almost a warm up for my deadlifts, all right? So I'm seeing if the, the deadlifts start to stall. Um, but I do wanna work on trying to make sure I get a little deeper on a lot of these reps. Part of it's the camera angle, uh, because again, I am going pretty deep here. But bad idea. But in the meantime, um, again, it's easy on my shoulders. It's letting me do my bench specialization because I don't have my hands way up there cranked up uh, on a bar. And again, for me, I find that no matter what's going on, if I can do it on a safety bar, I can always do it on a power bar, even with the, with the worst shoulder setup possible. I, I pretty much turn loose of it, right? I just, I'm like, I'm done. And I don't know till I'm seeing the footage. I haven't watched the footage yet. I just loaded it into the thing. I don't know if I turned loose or I actually set it down. But I think, no, I did set it down, good. It felt like my hand was starting to tear. So here's the point we get to, All right? People will always chime in and say, well, you shouldn't let your grip be a limiting factor. You need to train this on your deadlift. But no, I don't. I have an elite deadlift. My maxes are elite. My rep work indicates that I am way deep into elite, okay? Keeping in mind to elite, okay? Keeping in mind what I'm doing for five and six rep sets is almost elite if I was doing it for a single. So there's your context for my age and weight class. Um, I can still easily hit elite deadlifts in the open age class. I don't care. In, in other words, I the issue. Why else would my hands be tearing other than my grip is slipping? So again, we can talk about hand conditioning, but I do all this pulling on that that deadlift bar. I do my rows on that deadlift bar. Okay. I do my rows on the deadlift bar. It's the issue of my posterior chain is stronger than my grip with a PR. I got 10 reps today with that. Normally I get eight. I've got nine once before. I just did 10 reps. All right. I just hit a PR on a posterior chain exercise. Without hitting a deadlift PR in a week or two, my posterior chain is getting stronger. So what does this mean? It means we have to keep working grip. I, I know people disagree with that philosophy. A lot of people do, but yet here I am saying, look, I, I like to do it this way. I believe it's the correct way to do it. And I have an elite deadlift as a master's athlete. But to get to that next tier, I don't think that's the solution. Because if we're not hitting these sets like this to where we see the grip failing, we don't know to prioritize it. What do I need to do? Maybe I need to do both. Maybe I need to alternate them. Maybe I can't afford to skip those on upper body days either. Because I need the forearm and grip development. It has to keep coming up. Because I can't get to a point to where a rep calculator starts telling me I can pull 700 or 710 or 720 and then have 650 completely slip out of my hands and rip my hand in the process okay that can't happen it can't happen I, I would be in denial at that point if we can't afford that I don't have that luxury at this point in the game okay also we come to the point of, of if my grip's not strong enough then I'm just beating myself up with crazy limit sets that allowed me to load everything harder